I guess let's let's bring out the bong. I'll, I'll cover my eyes. Yeah, what's going on everybody? I'm Devonta Spliff and welcome back to another episode of My Girlfriend Makes All the Decisions. Okay, so basically I was on Twitter, right? And I was like scrolling through my Twitter feed and I saw this ad for this bond company called Prism. And like basically it was an ad and they were like, we're Philly based and you can take the bongs apart and you can customize them. So like I clicked on it and I go over to their Twitter and I'm like, this, this, this looks, looks amazing. amazing. So I like go from the Twitter, I go on their website or whatever, I'm checking out the website and I'm like, this, this might be like the coolest thing I've ever seen. So immediately I go to send them an email. So I send them this email. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, I saw an ad for your company. I think it's really cool. Like, I see you guys are from Philly. I'm also from Philly. Go birds. Like, would you guys be down to do a collab and like maybe send me a piece? And they were like, yeah, of course. Go birds. Like, obviously. And they gave me like a little rules of like parameters because they didn't want me to spend like too much money because, you know, customizing bonds can get like pretty expensive. You know what I mean? So they like gave me like a little short list of parameters. They're like, you know, have fun. And I yell up to Danny. I'm like, Danny, Danny like, you got to come check out this website. This is the coolest shit ever. And I show, show her the website. And I'm like, look, you can like customize your own bongs and you can do different things. And she was like, you, you should let me do it. And then you can react to it on camera. And I was like, that, that actually, actually sounds, sounds like, like pretty a pretty dope idea. idea. So basically my life is in her hands at this point. They hit me back, they were like, hey, we got all the, the information. I was like, don't tell me anything. I let Danny customize it and I don't wanna know what it looks like until it gets here. And they were like, not a problem. They shipped it out, they gave me the shipping info. And of course, it got here while I was gone. So Danny got to go get the package from the front door, not me. So I've actually never even seen, seen the box. I have no idea what it looks like, but I am super excited to get my new bong so i guess i guess now is as good a time as ever let's let's bring it out now and then after after it comes out here and we you know gawk at it a little bit we'll we'll take a hit and then like i'll kind of go over like some of the cool shit about prism that i found out when i was like looking at their website so i guess let's let's bring out the bong i'll, I'll cover my eyes Yay. i'm super excited It's open? Um, a little bit. I wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. Okay. Oh shit. It's huge. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this big. Dang. And there's hair on it. Thank you, Danny. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got packing, packing stuff. We got like a little thank you thing. Did they send candy? Yeah. They sent a grape airhead and a cherry punch sweet tart rope that's dope they know you're gonna want to eat something <laughs> and a little prism sticker and now our actual piece oh man you see this Ugh. you need help no i got it i can do this <laughs> i've unboxed many a bong i know what i'm doing <laughs> This thing is huge for real though. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm so excited, dude. Oh shit. So we got some glass pieces there. And here's the actual bong. I'm assuming that's like a down stem and a bowl. All right, here's the actual bong itself. Dang, they really, they really wrap it. They do not want it to be broken. I understand why because I think you said it was like what? Like 200 bucks? Yeah, yeah. For the one that you made? Yeah. And there's still another layer. There we go. Yo. Yo. Hold up. Wait, you see, I'll see this. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Holy shit. 
Y'all look at this. Holy shit, this is gorgeous. With the purple top though? Oh my God. All right, down stem, down stem and bowl gotta go in. This thing is so sexy. Oh my God. Yo, the down stem's purple. The down stem's purple at matchy matchies. Oh my God, I love that. I love this. I kind of knew you were gonna make something purple too. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I'm not gonna lie. As soon as I gave you control, I was like, something bowl. By the way, the bowl's also That's purple. purple. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, she's gonna do something purpley to it. This, this thing's dope as shit. Look at that. Oh my god. All right, we gotta we gotta take a hit. For today's video, I have this. This is Brownie Scout number three by the homies at Rhythm. I actually went to a dispensary to get this because I hadn't been to a dispensary in a while and I wanted I wanted to go. Is I got this at the same time we picked up that that grassroots. So I'm hoping this is also really good stuff. Oh, that smells amazing. Mm. All right, we gotta grind this up and take a hit. First, we gotta fill this up with water. Also, one of one of our Discord homies told me that he uses his flour mill on the number five setting to do bowls. So we're gonna try that today too. Flour mills are cool because they have different size mill plates in there and they're super easy to take out. You just unscrew it like this. Boop, this one pops out. We're using the five today, which is the chunkiest grind you can do. You just take that out of his little thing. Plop it right in there. Screw this little top back on. And now you're done, you're good to go. That's the easiest thing in the f***ing world. All right, anyway, we're gonna fill this up with water and take a hit. Cheers. Let's go, yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit I just made a purple lighter. We have a black lighter. It'll match this. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. You're never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes That shit's f***ing crazy good. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but like everything past this point is is just corrupted. Like the video file's still there. Like we did a whole shit ton of editing, but just everything past the light up somehow got f***ed up. So I don't know. We have to like re-record a shit ton of this f***ing video. I don't, I don't even know where I was, to be honest. I, I literally don't even know where the f I was. Hey. <sighs> hey. Hey. What? Did you tell him about the merch yet? What, what do you mean? That we have Craig the Egg merch now. You're literally wearing it. On your body. True. So... I mean, you're so excited about it, why don't you just tell him? I'll tell him about the merch. <laughs> Fine. I'll tell him about the merch then. We got Craig the Egg words now. It's um, merch of Craig the Egg. We got small Craig. We got big ass Craig. We got 
We got big ass tags on big ass hoodies. We, we have little legs on little hoodies. We have big eggs on little shirts. And we've got little legs on big shirts. We got big There's eggs. Big we got little legs. We got little ones. We also have large eggs. eggs. Don't forget the small eggs. There's ones that have words and ones that don't have words. This is one of the ones that doesn't have words. This is one of the ones that has words. It says Craig the Egg. You can see it say it. You can you see, see it say Craig the Egg. egg. We have them in, in all different colors as well, not just, not just green, white, and black, and gray. We have different colors. We have blue. Can you, can, you, can you change the shirt to make it look blue? We also have other colors as well. I forget what colors there are, but there's other colors. There's different colors of this and the hoodies as well, but I don't think we can change the black to a color, so I'm just going to show you the shirt. Craig, Craig the Egg merch. Now available in all sizes of both shirt, hoodie, and egg. Check them out now from the out that store. Are we done yet? Buy my shirts. Buy these shirts. All profits go to me. And you get a cool shirt. Sometimes your shirt gets wrinkled, but sometimes it won't. All right, now that we're done with that, uh, back back to the prison bong. I'm actually gonna load this back up because I'm so, I'm just so flustered about this. I got this Apple Mac by the homies at Wildflower. This might be, I, I say this a lot <laughs> about Wildflower Home Company, but like this might be one of my new favorite trains for real. Like this Apple Mac is so good. It's got those like those Mac tones to it. Like, I don't know, there's something about Mac that just like is very nostalgic to me. Like it tastes nostalgic as shit and it's beautiful. And it, oh my God, like as soon as I open the bag, it just like, it smells so good. I don't know what it is, but Mac strains are becoming like, I think it's just Mac strains are becoming like my favorite things because I had that Sunset Mac by Grassroots earlier and that shit was fucking amazing. And then I had this Apple Mac and I literally haven't been able to like stop smoking this. It's, it's that fucking good. It's literally that good. I just can't, I can't stop, won't stop Rockefeller Records. You know what I mean? But Prism, right? Let's talk about Prism bongs because that's, what we're actually here to do. Prisms, Prisms and bongs are cool as shit. Like straight up, they're fucking awesome. They're highly customizable. Since this, since we started, I, sh I was gonna say since this video dropped, but this video hasn't dropped yet. Since we started recording this video, I've actually like revisited Prisms site. I don't know, like, 150,000 times just to like build different bongs that I like. And I've been using this for, I guess it's been like, what, two weeks now since we started recording the other part of that video, right? Three weeks? Less? Longer? It's, it's been a while since we did the original recording of this video, but this thing is literally becoming like, I use it every single fucking day. It's my daily driver bong. God, that's good. God, Mac is delicious. And one of the reasons, I didn't clear that. And one of the reasons I love it so much is because how easy it is to clean. These sections all come off, they all come apart. You never actually have to clean this middle section I've noticed because it's got like little rubber seals that connect to this part and to this part. So I find myself never really needing to clean this, but being able to take it apart makes this so easy to clean. I usually use my little scrubber duckies pack. Homies at scrubber duckies always hook me up with their cleaning solution. I think I have a code for them. I'll leave it right here if I do, but shout out scrubber duckies for hooking up the cleaning solution. It, makes my shit spick and span every time I fucking use it. And it, it comes apart and puts it together so easily. And I've, I've literally never seen another bong that does this. And the coolest thing about it is like, everything is like so customizable. Like like I said, I visited their site like 150,000 times since we originally recorded the first part of this video. Well, technically the whole part of this video, but half of it got fucked up somehow. But I keep making like different things that I wanna get. And you can build like some of the craziest things. Like they have, I think up to triple stacks, but I'm sure you could probably go higher if you just keep, keep like keep ordering them. But they basically, they have these little connection pieces, right? These things. And this is cool because like this thing just twists right off. It's just, it just comes off like that, right? And then they have separate like little mid sections, like little bubblers and perks and like all types of cool shit 
that you can throw in here. So you can have like a bubbler and a perk and like any, any type of setup you want. This thing can get as high as the sky if you really wanted to. They also have like a longer version of this pipe if you want to go like, I think like this much taller. They call it the long, like the long version. They have the short version. I really like the short version though because I think for like a daily driver, something about this size is like perfect. But they have like a longer version. As I said, they have multiple things you can stack in between your base and your top. And they have like, I think four or five different bases. They have recyclers, incyclers, I think is one of them, where the recycler is actually inside the piece. They have beakers, which is my favorite, which is why I think Danny picked the beaker bottom because mm -hmm. I love beakers so much. They have straight boys. They literally have all your bases covered. It's really amazing. I, I fucking love it. I've literally, like I said, I've literally gone on there like 150,000 times and have just been making different bongs, like different, different bongs that I want to get. And shit, like <laughs> I think Prism's probably going to be taking a good amount of my money at some point because I always complain about when people take hits midway through sentences and I just did it, but I have like I have so many combinations of cool things that I want to make on their website that I want to get sent here. Like I made an Eagles bong, like an Eaglesy looking bong. But then I did realize like when I was on their site, a lot of the things I was making were just like beakers this size with like nothing else. So then I started making like crazy combos because you can make like the craziest combos and I love that. I absolutely love that about Prism. I love that the, the fact that their main warehouse is based in Philly. So when this shipped, it only took like two days to get here. It came from like Kensington, which is a wild part of Philadelphia if you've never heard of Kensington, but Kensington is wild. But apparently their main warehouse is like in Kensington. So when it shipped, it was literally like around the corner from me basically. So super exciting as the customer when it's like, oh, it shipped and it's gonna be here tomorrow. That that's cool. <laughs> but uh, man, Prism Bongs, it didn't take long to ship. I think they say they take like five to seven business days to like fully create your custom piece and put it together. I forgot to mention about the custom ability. It goes even farther than just picking what top and bottom you want. You can pick your own graphics. Like Danny picked these kind of purple and yellow graphics. They have different like this is purple, they have clear ones, they have blue ones, they have opaque ones, they have translucent. Is that what it's called? You can get opaque or translucent bowls and down stems. You can mix and match like a million different colors. I'm pretty sure like the decals that you can get like put on, I think they upgrade them all the time and have like new ones coming out to pick and choose from. So you can you can literally do anything you want. They also have ones that go on the bottom if you if you like stuff on the bottom. I think Danny knows that I like to I like to be able to see the bottom of my bong, and I I think it's cool that you can put like decals on the bottom. But like, luckily, me and Danny know each other very well because this bong came out like awesome. It came out so good. Like, she knows I don't like things on the bottom of my bong, so she didn't put a thing on the bottom of my bong. I did have a thing on the bottom of my old bong for a long time. It was that light that Scrubber Ducky sent me. They have these lights that you can like put on the bottom so you can like light up your bong. That's pretty cool. I almost forgot to mention the fact that this purple that we have running through the stem and the bowl and maybe even the top piece is called, uh, Grape Jolly Rancher. Grape Jolly Rancher. And it really looks like a Grape Jolly Rancher, which is the craziest part. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but a cricket chirped right when I couldn't think of the what a Jolly Rancher was. So hilarious timing by our homie, the cricket down here. But Prism, man, Prism, prismwaterpipes.com, I think it is. I don't have any discount codes, unfortunately, but I think they do run like free shipping on orders over a hundred or something like that. This, I believe was around 200? Yeah, it's like 202 or something 202? like that. 202? So I mean, not bad for like a very quality piece. And like I said, something super cool about them, if, if you want a different bottom or you want a different top, you can just order those pieces. Like, so if we wanted to make this into a straight piece and we wanted to keep this all the same, all we'd have to order is a new bottom. We could take the beaker bong, put it aside. We could put the straight pipe on the bottom. We could put the recycler on the bottom. So like literally you can buy and, and mix and match pieces of prisms 
to create anything you want. And if you just have like a bunch of their accessories, you can smoke however you want, whenever you want. If you want a nice little simple setup like this, you can do that. And if you want something a little more cool or complicated to show off in front of your friends, you can go grab two or three of these little like connector pieces and then like two or three of the midsection things and throw them in there in, in any order that you want. It's like the most customizable smoking experience there is. That's f***ing cool, man. I, I, literally, I think this is like probably one of the coolest bond companies out there. And like the glass is thick. Like I don't, I feel like this is, is it, this would be so hard to break. You know what I mean? Like, like this shit is, it's like, it's like that's thick as shit. That's thick ass glass. There is a company called thick ass glass, but I don't know how thick their shit is, but this shit is fucking thick too. It's like triple C thick. You know what I mean? Like, she a baddie. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit normal YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. Patreon, I'll see you in a second for a little bonus sesh. Well, I mean, we'll smoke more of this Apple Mac because it's what I've been enjoying. Or I think we have like some dabs around here. We may, might, might do a dab. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash loud. Memberships are as low as a dollar now. So there's literally no excuse. You can get all the extra content for a dollar. They get all raw footage, completely uncut. So every time I f up, they see it. When I talk about something I, I shouldn't, they see it. All the Patreon videos uh, are through Rumble. Also, if you guys want to see the complete, well, not the complete raw footage, if you guys want to see a non-Craig the Egg version of this video where we don't have to black out the weed and we can show you guys what it is, check out my Rumble because Rumble lets me do that and YouTube has been striking me. So I, I can't do that on here anymore. So I apologize to everybody, but there's really nothing I can do about that. But we still post the like unfiltered versions on Rumble, so check out my Rumble. I don't know what my Rumble link is. I'm sure if you just search Flippin' Loud, it'll come up. It's a picture of Craig on there. It's just a picture of Craig. So that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Wait, 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 before you go, I almost forgot something. Our Hey Abby update, right? Oh yeah. Something cool about Hey Abby, Hey Abby has this app, right? And the app has this little calendar spot kind of thing. I gotta find it. Is it the chart? No, it's not the chart. The chart is also cool because it shows you like the humidity and the temperature and how that's been going. It also has a pH thing, but we are not into the bucket yet all the way. So we're, we are we don't have pH readings. I don't even know if, if the R edition comes with the pH reader. I think you actually, I think they sell like a Bluetooth pH meter for like 50 to 60 bucks that you can leave in the machine and it connects to the app, which is cool. I got a couple cheap meters because I didn't, I didn't have the money for her for theirs, but Lady Carl's doing great. So we had just put put Car Lady Carl into the water, right? And we um, just realized Lady Carl, well, I realized Lady, we named it Carl, but technically it's a girl because it's feminized seed, so it's Lady Carl. We all, I also remember that I have this Aurora that we got in the crop culture box and it's like a, I looked it up, it's like a hundred bucks and it's specifically just for germinating seeds. And you basically put your seed in between these two little cotton pads and then you wet it with your water or whatever germination solution you're using. Some people like to use like a little mix of water and like nutrients when they're when they're germinating. So you put your seed in between those two things. We just used a little bit of water. I think tap water to be honest, which I found out later is not good for the plant. <laughs> Our tap water has this thing called chloramine in it, which can actually kill Lady Carl. But our fridge has a chloramine filter. So we can use our fridge water, but they also recommend to use distilled water or reverse osmosis something water reverse osmosis engineered what I don't, I don't remember what that one was or i think um fresh natural spring water so we went up to shop right and i grabbed some distilled water it's like a dollar fifty for a gallon so it's not like a huge deal and then we also ordered 
a filter on Amazon that turns our hose water into spring water. It just basically filters out the chloramine. So, I mean, we can use that instead of having to go buy a shit ton of distilled water, which is nice. But we took Lady Carl out of the Aurora. She had a little tiny sprout. So we knew that she was ready. We put her in her foam cube first day in the new spot. I was hoping she was okay. And we put her, the foam cube, we put that into the, it's like, a, I guess it's the, it's it's home technically forever. And it has like these little slits around the bottom. And then we filled this other cup up, the, the original cup you guys saw, we filled that up with a little bit of water and we put the one cup into the other cup so that the sponge was lightly getting soaked at the bottom so that Lady Carl's roots could go try to find that water. And then we changed her water for the next couple of days. She grew a little bit and then around, I think it was like day four or five, she was finally getting bigger and busting out of her little shell and we could see some green. We were super excited about it. Plants are stronger than you think they are. I was like worried that she wasn't gonna be able to get the shell off, but she knocked that thing down. We saved the shell and we put it in a little book so we could keep it forever. Our first plant shell, seed shell grown that we're gonna grow together. So we kept it, put a little memoir thing. Then. A couple days later, tragedy struck. Lady Carl had somehow fallen over and I was like very scared because I didn't really know what to do. So very cautiously, I like pulled the cube out of, out of the thing. And when I did that, Lady Carl had like completely came out of the cube. Like I was, I was so worried. And I, I held her by her, like just under the leaves and I pinched the cube open and I, I put her back in there slightly deeper than I had before. A lot of the people on their Discord channel said that I might've not just put the seed as deep as I needed to originally, which is, is what I think happened. And because of that, she wasn't deep enough to hold herself upright. So she had like fell over. So I put her in a little bit deeper which everyone on, on the Discord was like, I tried to tell a bunch of people to try to do that and it didn't work out. And like a lot of people ended up killing their plant. A lot of people said, I might should just start over with a new seed, but I had faith in Lady Carl. I put her back in there. I'm happy to say she's doing great now. She's almost grown completely out of the, uh, of the little cup and she's sprouting her new leaves. She has uh, two sets of leaves now, like the baby leaves and then like one more small set. And that's basically where we're at right now. Once she gets a little bit bigger with uh, I think two, another two sets of like bigger leaves, we can take her from the cup that she's in now and actually directly put her into the Hay Abbey with nutrients and three gallons of water instead of just that little bit that she's been dealing with now. But that's where we're at on the Hay Abbey and that's where Lady Carl is. And I'll see you guys next Thursday for another update. This thing is gorgeous. If it wasn't football season, I'd be able to use it on every Sunday. <laughs> but I'm not a Vikings fan. <laughs> and that's pretty much what it could look like when it's finished. Red, green. Man, you should be going to MIT or something.